Hi guys, it's Kyle Moran from Kyle Moran Photography here to talk about how to clean a sensor. Uh, today we're going to be cleaning a crop sensor which is an APS-C sensor and if you want to take a look at what we're going to be using uh, I picked this up on Amazon for about 30 bucks and it is the Altura Pro Photo Crop Sensor Cleaning Kit and they also sell these in full frame version um, but today we're going to be cleaning a crop sensor. Um, so let's get started. Alright, so here's the camera body. This is the Canon 70D. It's a really great crop sensor camera. It's about $1,400. Um, so what you want to do is you're going to want to unscrew the cap and you want to make sure that you're all ready to actually clean before you do this. The least amount of time you keep that open the better. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab these sensor cleaning swabs. Um, they're for the DSLR sensor. Uh, specifically, these are 16 millimeter, and they're made for cleaning the actual APS-C sensor. They're the exact size that you need. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to move everything to the side. We're going to open this up, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a look inside and see if we can not only clean our sensor, but also we can clean the mirror that's inside with the sensor and this will help us to make sure any dust is taken care of yep and so I had actual dust on my my window not even on my sensor but it was showing up in my photographs so I had to make sure I took care of that so once I'm done cleaning it uh, I just want to dry it off and kind of make sure any dust is gone so we're gonna grab this air blower and we're going to give it a nice nice thorough blow through the through the sensor just to make sure all the dust that we wiped off with the swab gets taken care of and Salem thinks it's okay alright now we're going to put this cap back on and that's pretty much it there you go and the beauty of this kit is you get not just one, but actually six, and I, now I have five left, swabs that I can keep. And the next time my sensor gets dusty, I can just come in here and do this again. And yeah, it was, it was great. I love all the extras, too. I love this big microfiber. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be using that. So there really isn't any need to go to a professional unless there's more damage or you think that you might have like sand or something of that nature stuck inside of your your sensor. Um, typically this happens when you're switching lenses. Um, I highly recommend whenever you're switching lenses to be in a place where you're free of dust or free of sand. Um, also be cognizant of the wind. Um, a lot of times when it's a windy day that's when you're gonna get dust or sand blown into your sensor in between when you're changing your lens. Um, anyway, this has been a great video, I think. I hope that you've learned how to take care of your own stuff. 30 bucks, and you can clean your sensor five, six times, and plus it comes with all that other stuff, um, the dust blower and also the big microfiber, which is awesome. I can go clean my TV now, which it needs it. Uh, this is the first video of many. Uh, this is our first couch talk, so I hope to have more. And if you have any suggestions on videos that you'd like to see, just please, please send me a comment or a message. Um, you can find me at kylemoranphotography.com, or if you wanted to look me up on Instagram, Facebook, just search Kyle Moran Photography and you'll find me. Alrighty, thanks, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time.